Shocking video. In the middle of the day, two people open fire in a busy parking lot. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff pleading for your help tonight to help find the second shooter. New tonight at 6, News 8's Kyle Mitchell spoke with a woman from a nearby business who was there when the shots were fired. The sheriff says the shooting happened in this parking lot near KL Avenue in Drake Road, just steps away from the busy intersection. A shooting in broad daylight in the parking lot of the Bronco Liquor Store has sheriff's deputies still looking for a suspect. I was at the counter um, just helping some customers, and then all of a sudden we just heard a couple of shots, and it kind of sounded like a car backfire. Carissa Sorensen works at a restaurant next door and was working on February 23rd when shots were fired just before 1230 in the afternoon. I could see the guy standing there shooting. Um, and then after that, he just like ran to his car and they drove off real fast. In the video, you can see someone carrying a pizza box. They run to their car once the shots start firing. I got really, really nervous and scared because I didn't know what was going to happen. Because if he's going to like run in front of our window or just start shooting at us. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff says the two shooters drove off in a black sedan. One has been arrested and is facing several gun charges. There is a second person out there who uh, was willing to use a firearm in a parking lot uh, in broad daylight, and uh, there were people in harm's way, and we want to identify that person as soon as possible. The victim drove off in a tan SUV, and police are asking him to come forward. Investigators are looking for additional witnesses of any cars that may have been hit by a bullet. We are seeing a, lot, a, a number of stolen firearms and traffic stops that we are finding, and they're happening at all times of day. And the brazenness of this over what appears to have been a simple, um, you know, conversation, nothing that would lead itself to believe, anybody to believe that um, firearms would have been introduced and definitely uh, not only introduced but used. Deputies are hoping someone will come forward to help them identify the second suspect. If you know anything that could help investigators, contact Silent Observer or the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office. Reporting near Kalamazoo, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.